Well, it was bound to happen anytime that embargo dates are moved, shifted, what have you, or changed. Somebody is ultimately going to mess up and slip out an entire review rather than just a little tidbit of information. And that's exactly what happened to Chinese tech site X Preview. They leaked out the entire review of the upcoming Coffee Lake flagship processor, the Core i7-8700K. So this is the new Coffee Lake based 6 core 12 thread running on the Z370 platform. I almost said X370, but you know, who can blame me for that one because it being so close. We're looking at a 6 core 12 thread processor with a 3.7 gigahertz base frequency, which boosts up to 4.3 gigahertz across all 6 cores and 4.7 gigahertz on a single core. That's pretty impressive for, you know, the the core count, clock speed as well as the TDP of 95 watt for that chip. Now there's along with 12 megabytes of L3 cache on board and uh, with their new GT2 tier iGPU. But the iGPU is not what we're looking at here or really the CPU performance. You can look at the article linked in the description if you want to see a full rundown of those results from all different types of CPU based functions. But what we're looking at specifically here is a set of gaming benchmarks that they posted where they ran the CPU at stock on against the 7700K and the 7800X as well as the 8700K across five games showing the performance variation between them and they also ran the same test at a fixed clock speed to show uh, core impact as well as architectural IPC which was quite interesting to see. Now they did test it with a with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 which of course with the X platform runs at quad channel rather than dual channel with the Z platforms and the GPU of choice today was the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti for the Win 3. Now the motherboard that they used was they were unable to list that because of uh, an NDA. Right, go figure. But at least we do know it's a Z370 based motherboard. So let's take a look real quick at the games in question. Up first was Ashes of the Singularity Escalation, running on the CPU focus with crazy settings at DX12. At stock, we see the 8700K holds a substantial lead over the 7700K as well as the 7800X thanks to its, well, core clock as well as the core count. But moving things over to the same game but with the fixed function cores uh, or fixed speeds, we see well, it still maintains about the same lead. The 7700K took a dip and the 7800K or 7800X took an uptick, it seems. Now, The Witcher 3 at 1080p with ultra settings, HBAO plus and hair works off, we see it has a considerable lead over its counterparts at stock speeds. But once you oh, take those frequencies and you normalize them, it extends that lead even further. Quite interesting. Now moving on to Rise of the Tomb Raider, we're using the built-in benchmarks on a very high preset, we see the 8700K actually dips below the 7700K but above the 7800X. Once we go over and norm see the normalized clock speeds, we actually see that it's fairly similar between the 7700K and the 8700K, but the 7800X lags behind by 10 FPS or greater. Moving on to the division, we using the DX12 Ultra settings with the built-in benchmark, we see, well, margin of error uh, results at best. Even when you normalize the clock speeds, they're all just about the same. Moving things down to Hitman using the built-in benchmark on very high settings with DX12, we see a substantial gain over the 8700K over its counterparts here as well. And then once the clock speeds are normalized, it still maintains about the same lead. Uh, the 7800X does take an uptick though. But this is interesting to see where things stand when it comes to gaming. Of course, these are just the averages. To me, what's more important and more interesting to see is the 1% and the 0.1% lows to see where things dip. Does it hold up better over time? You know, the averages are one thing, but seeing where you bottom out is, to me, a bit more important for your overall experience. So if you want to see these results as well as a lot more going on from the review that was leaked, head over to the link in the description. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found this video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to leave us a like and a subscribe. If you have anything to add, go do so in the comment section. And we will catch you all in the next video.